Hello and welcome to another episode of Gym Talk. Last week the gymnastics team lost to number 7 UCLA. They had a 193.2 in doing so. Here to talk more about the gymnastics team is their head coach Wayne Wright. Well yeah, UCLA is an awesome team. They have a lot of great athletes on that team. And they were flawless. They had, they had a great meet. I got an opportunity to watch a few of their vaults and they stuck their landings. They looked really good. I think it was a very deserving score for them uh, on Sunday. It's obviously pretty good for the freshmen of this squad to, to go out and play or at Stanford, at UCLA, and see that high level of gymnastics, and you know they can learn from it as well, right? Absolutely. My model is we'll compete against anybody. It makes us better when we compete against top 10 opponents. We train hard. Uh, we want to beat them, obviously. Uh, it just makes us better. It, it gives us the opportunity to see what we need to do as a team to get better. Cassie Harrison had a good weekend. Uh, she two, two events last year mostly, and now she's the all-around. How has she progressed? Well, I think Cassie has done a great job over the summer. Uh, this summer she went home and worked really hard. We, we changed some stuff, got a new floor routine. It's been it's just been in the gym working hard. Um, Every day, um, you know, she knows she's always been an all-around competitor um, and something that she wanted and she, you know, sticking to it and she's done a great job for us right now. Hey, okay, you had a, a 194 to start off the year and kind of fell off a little bit the last couple of meets. What was the difference for you? Well, at UCLA, we end up counting uh, two falls. We counted a 9-2 and a 9-1. If you add that, give five tenths to those, that's a full point. That would have been our 194. Uh, you can't have false. You can't have false, especially when you're going against uh, good teams like UCLA and good teams like Stanford. Um, but you, you know, it, it's still early in the year, and we're gonna we're gonna you know eliminate those falls, and uh, we'll get back up to the 194 range. That's nice, though, certainly. I mean, those kind of things happen, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you, you, you know, week in and week out, especially with having a meet on Friday, then getting on the bus and driving to UCLA and competing on Sunday. You know, we weren't we weren't bad. We, we were good, but we're a great team, and that's what we're tr striving to, to, to be. Another road meet this weekend against Sacramento State. Not as far of a, of a bus ride, but still another one away from uh, home here. Yeah, Sac State's always a good meet for us. Sac State, for some reason, usually has their best meet against us, and we usually have a pretty good meet against them. So it's going to be a battle. Uh, we don't take them lightly. We're going to be training hard. we got three days to train because we got back on Monday. So every day has to count and just, you know, you know be a little bit better prepared going into Sac State. Are you going to stick with the same gymnasts for uh, Sac State? Right now the, the lineup's kind of looking the same. We'll probably um, – change a little bit up on our vault, uh, increase our difficulty on vault, but right now it's probably going to stay the same. All right, thanks coach for joining Thank me you. again. Good luck. I think from this year to last year, I came in way more prepared, more in the mindset of wanting to be an all-around gymnast, and I feel like I started off the season really strong trying to push myself to make sure that I did secure my spot in the, all four events, and I did, so that's what I accomplished one of my big goals doing all-around this year. Okay, and you went down to UCLA, obviously a top-tier opponent. Uh, it's probably pretty nice to see some of those gymnasts go to work, and, and, and they're, the, they're one of the tops in the country. Yeah. Can you learn anything from watching people like that? Yeah, they're a really inspiring team because they're all so talented and they're all so confident in their abilities. So it just makes me want to be strive to be like them, like being perfect, almost being perfect, because a lot of them are close to being perfect. So it's just watching them and their level of gymnastics, it strives us and the whole team to be just like them. And what are you working on the most right now? Which, which uh, different event? I think beam is my weaker event, so that is the one that I'm going to be focusing on most just to get solid, just so I can keep my all around up and keep all my scores up to help the team. All right, thanks, Cassie, for joining me. <laughs> That's it for this week's episode. The next meet for the gymnastics team will be in Sacramento this Friday, the 27th at 7 o'clock. You can always check out this webcast on the YouTube channel or sjsuspartans.com.